Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be creating some Pinterest looks. I asked you guys to send me over your favorite Pinterest looks on Instagram and you guys sent me some amazing, amazing, amazing looks and I'm gonna try to recreate some of them with just the clothes I have in my closet. I'm hoping this is gonna give me a lot of inspiration of how I can rework all the clothes in my closet and make new outfits for them because I'm all about, you know, wearing your clothes more than once. Some people just wear them once, but I love to rewear my clothes and really cherish them and appreciate them and love them. So that's what I'm gonna try to do today is trying to find some new ways of how I can wear my clothes. So as you can see, I already have my gold pants, not my gold, my orange pants on, my orange sparkly pants because you guys sent some Pinterest outfits over where they have these orange sparkly pants so I thought let's start off easy and let's try to recreate this outfit right here so in this photo you can see she has this oversized white t-shirt which I grabbed right here I don't have one that has like any pink on it even though I really like the pink with the orange I just have this Hawaii thrifted shirt here and then for her pants she has her sparkly orange pants which I have the ones that I made and then for her shoes it looks like she's wearing some Nikes and maybe a tote bag so I'm gonna go wrap those and see how it looks so I don't have the actual Nike Airs I just have these to go with this outfit and then for my tote bag I'm going to use my tote bag and then this is what the outfit looks like. I honestly love these runners with these pants. I would have never thought to put these Nike shoes with these pants. So I'm definitely going to start wearing these together because they look really great. I might tuck, yeah, I'm going to tuck it in like that just because I do like it tucked in a little bit and not just like hanging there. I do like having an oversized tote bag. Like that's very convenient because every time I go somewhere shopping, you just put it in the tote bag. I think I'm gonna start wearing this outfit exactly like this. So that one was very, very easy. So I'm gonna try to do a more challenging one for the next one. Ooh, this one looks fun. Yes, I'm gonna try this one next. So for this next one, I grabbed these tan pants right here, these Fila Chunky sneakers, and then I have this one for the top. I don't have a stripe one like the one she's wearing, but this is the closest one I have. And then I'm just gonna put a tote bag with it again. So it looks like she just has it buttoned up in like one, like buttoned up right here and then that's it. And then she has her sneakers and a tote bag and then glasses. I honestly quite like this. This is like a really nice spring outfit. I was really struggling of what I should really wear with this top. Like I bought it from the thrift store and I just haven't worn it yet just because I didn't know what to wear with it. I'm actually digging this outfit. Look at this. I love it. Actually, I kind of like this one more than the other one. So the other one, the last one we just saw, nine. This one's a 10. Next outfit, let's try to recreate this one right here. Let's see how it goes. I love this outfit. Look at this outfit. I feel like this is very Jenna though. Like I feel like you guys went easy on me and picked up which outfits that were very much my style. So thank you on picking some outfits that I love and are easy for you to create with my wardrobe. I don't know why my dog's off the walls right now. He's so excited for no reason. <laughs> Anyways, here is my outfit. So this is just a thrifted blazer. This is just a white tank from Prince Polly. These are my funky psychedelic pants with my Fila sneakers. And then my thrifted guest cow purse. I love it. Like, I don't think I should be rating them because honestly, I think they're all gonna be like a 10 out of 10 or like a nine out of 10. Like, look how cute this outfit is. What the heck? I 100% would walk out the door right now with this outfit on. Next outfit, I'm gonna try to do this one right here because this one looks super fun and cozy and me. So we're gonna try this one next. So it's kind of hard to tell what she's wearing, if it's like a sweater or something. So I just have the zebra cardigan and I don't have yellow pants, which now I'm realizing I really want to get a pair of yellow pants. So I'm just wearing these kind of pastel pink pants. And then for the sweater, looks like it's kind of like a green one, which again, I don't have, but we're just going to put this chunky sweater on over top. See how this looks. And then she has some Converse to go with it. So, um. After, eh, eh. um, yeah, I don't think this is gonna be the first outfit I'm gonna be grabbing in the morning. I kind of feel like a big two-year-old. Does that look better? Maybe we gotta unbutton it. Does that look better? Okay, now I feel like I'm bigger, like two-year-old. I'm just gonna say 
This one's not my favorite so far. So, I got my next one. This is the next pin I'm gonna try to recreate. I do have a green sweatsuit and I do have a green tank top. I, I'm feeling good about this one. I think I can do it. I think it's gonna look good. So, I'm pretty dang lucky that I actually do have like a sweatsuit that's like almost identical to the one in the photo here. So, I'm starting off strong so far. But the only thing is I'm a little confused on is how does she tie this? Like maybe it's a super oversized one? I don't know, but it looks good on there. But I don't know if I have that much confidence in myself. This? Like are you supposed to tie it like completely in a knot? No, it looks dumb in the back. But it looks good in the front. Maybe we can tuck it in. This is a lot harder than it looks just tying a sweater around you. Well, I think this is the, the best we're gonna get. So I think so far it's pretty good. So it looks like she's wearing a pearl necklace. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this pearl necklace with the necklaces I'm wearing. And I have my green purse here. And then I think we have the outfit. So here we go. I would say this is this is a success, this one. So for my next outfit, I'm definitely gonna push myself a little bit. I'm gonna try something that's a little bit more outside my comfort zone. I'm gonna try to recreate this one right here. And I have a sweater that's similar, but I don't have a green skirt, so it's not gonna be another monochromatic look. I'm just gonna try to recreate this outfit with different colors. Um, this one, this one was just a bad idea. I think we're just gonna cut it here just because I don't think I can accessorize to make this one better. It's, it's just not my best look. What, what am I gonna create next? Which, which one, Jenna? Which one? <gasps> this one! We're so creating this one next. So let's all just ignore the fact that these pants are not finished yet. Um, I made them and I just haven't finish them yet. But I thought these would be perfect because these are like the same material it looks like to the pink pants she's wearing. And I don't have pink pants like that, unfortunately. I kind know of this is gonna look cute, but we'll see. A little bit this trench coat. I know, I know. These pants keep falling down because there's no waistband. But I'm gonna put these chunky boots with this outfit. She looks cute. She looks cute. I honestly like this pop of color with this trench coat. I haven't worn this trench coat either. This is another thing that's been sitting in my closet, has not been worn, and now this outfit has given me a reason to wear it this spring. It also gives me another reason that I need to finish these pants because these pants are really cute too. But honestly, I think this purse, yeah, this purse looks better. Now that I had this on, I really wish I had a white shirt just because this trench coat really kind of clashes with this shirt, so the one thing I would like is a white baby tee. I think it would make the outfit that much better and also not to have a saggy crotch. So, next one. Guys, I'm crushing this one. Honestly, I know you guys haven't seen the inspo pic yet. Here it is, but I'm gonna crush it. I'm going to crush it. Okay, I'm done. How does it look? Do I look like I'm going to Harvard? Oh, forgot my collar. This is a fire outfit. This is a real fire outfit, but I wouldn't say it's 100% me. This is like too fancy for me. Like I like a sweater vest, but I feel like I'm going to Harvard Law School on this, but I'm like trendy Harvard Law student, you know? Not like just a typical Harvard Law student. I'm a trendy Harvard Law student in, in this outfit. And I don't really wanna to go to Harvard Law, so yeah, it was a success, but it's just not 100% me. It was a good try though. This next one's actually gonna be fire. Okay. Here's the next outfit. I told you it'd be fire. Like, look at this. Look how fun this outfit is. It's definitely more Jenna than the last Harvard Law outfit. This is our outfit. This is the inspo for this one. I definitely love the green pants here. I definitely like the green pants a little bit more than my gold pants here, but They'll do. They'll do. They'll do. I ended up putting this crop top together because I didn't have a black tank top and then the jacket, another thrifted jacket that, you know, just makes a look. Just makes a whole outfit. So I think I'm going to tone it down a little bit for the next one. Like this is definitely a Jenna outfit, but I'm not sure if this is a Jenna outfit really to wear out. Like I'd probably wear this in my house, but I don't know if I'd wear this out to the grocery store. So let's pick something that I would wear to the grocery store. I'd wear this one to the grocery store. Yeah, let's do this one. So unfortunately, I don't have a pair of green pants, so we're just gonna have to put these funky jeans on. Why are you so 
excited today. I think Benson really likes this outfit. But I'm just putting on my Nikes here again, these little sneakers. And then I'm just gonna pair it with this purse right here. So here is the look. Here we go. This is definitely more inspired than to the exact T of the outfit here, but I like this one. It's like another monochromatic look where it's all blue. And then I just have my beaded purse here just to give it a little pizzazz, I guess you could call. I do really like this one and I definitely 100% would wear this up. So my stomach's telling me right now, it's like, Jenna, you need to eat, you need to eat, you're hungry, you're hungry, stop doing what you're doing and just eat. But I'm gonna do one more outfit. I'm gonna do one more outfit just for you guys and I'm gonna tell my stomach to shh. Which one can I just totally just kick it out of the park or hit, hit it out, hit it out of the park. I don't know why someone would kick something out of the park. You know what, for this last one, I'm just gonna surprise you guys. Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna take my hand off the camera now. What do we think? Is this Jenna or is this not Jenna? And it's not inspired by any Pinterest outfit, but I can just take a picture of me my, myself in this outfit and then I can put it on my Pinterest board and then technically it's on Pinterest. So my last outfit is inspired by me, Jenna. This is my last outfit, except I did put my Nike shoes because after wearing them so much in all these outfits, I'm really starting to dig them and I really like them and I think it'll look good with this outfit. I learned something from this is that these look good with a lot of outfits. A little bit about my outfit. These are made from thrifted fabric. I thrifted this fabric here and then made pants. And then this right here is from a vintage store in Kelowna, BC. It is called Loss Together. I'm like out of breath because I'm so excited about this outfit. And I thrifted that there and it's my absolute favorite favorite sweater, jacket, whatever you want to call it, jacket ever. And I just started wearing it so much just because it is kind of like this fleece material. So it is so cozy, so soft, so warm, so comfy. So I love this outfit. It's comfy, it's practical, and it's cozy. And it's, it's inspired by me. So I hope you guys liked my last outfit. I told you it was gonna be a good one. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of me recreating some Pinterest outfits you guys sent me. I feel like I really wanna do this again, except I kinda just wanna recreate some outfits that I'm digging with just the clothes I have here. If you guys wanna see me do another outfit video of just like, outfits that I like and I wear, let me know down below in the comments and I'll love to make another outfit video. This one was fun, definitely learned a lot, definitely tried some stuff out of my comfort zone, definitely found some outfits that I'm 100% going to wear. So overall, it was, it was quite the experience and it was really good. Okay, well that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.